Ameth Diany was once chief of the village of Dun Babadie on Senegal's northern coast, but now his house is submerged underwater. The village of 800 people has completely disappeared, washed away by coastal erosion. I was born here and grew up in this village. We lived well from fishing and farming. Today there's almost nothing left of my old house, which has been swallowed up by the sea. A few kilometres along the coast lies San Louis. The historic former colonial capital of French West Africa is also under threat from the rising waters. A canal built to cope with overflow from the river burst its banks and is now hundreds of metres wide. The powerful combination of river and sea threatened both Senegal's heritage and its economy. The largest cities and the majority of economic and industrial activity is centred along the coasts. And it's these coastal territories which are suffering from erosion. At a local hotel, they've decided to take preemptive measures. Barriers have been built along the beach to stop sand being brought in by the sea. It's an investment which could save the hotel. I spent almost 75,000 euros, so that means I've protected my investment 200 metres from the sea. In 2008, the UN described San Louis as the African city most at risk from rising sea levels. And with three quarters of Senegal's population living near the coasts, it's a growing concern for the entire country.